Our last speaker This topic is um, developing applications which are non-central in Ethereum. As I am a developer, I'm also very interested in this topic. Please welcome Svetlin Nakov from the company Blockchain Engineer. Welcome, Istanbul. Marhaba um, Arkadashwar. I hope my pronunciation is correct. Uh, I'm Svetlin Nakov from Bulgaria, from Bulgaristan. And I'm a software engineer and trainer, famous enough in Bulgaria, but not enough in the world. Author of book, blockchain expert, I'm teaching software engineers and many, many, many things. And I have um, very successful tech education initiatives, which will be soon in Istanbul as well. But I will talk for this later on another uh, format. Because today I'm coming to talk about blockchain and blockchain technologies and mostly about GApps and smart contracts. So my background in the crypto industry is that I have several successful ICO projects as an um, advisor. Uh, the most uh, interesting of it is the decentralized booking platform, Walktrip, which currently uh, offers better prices than booking comment. It's in production from seven months. So I have been in many other startups, but I'm not here to promote myself. So let's start with the topic, the DApps. The apps. I believe most of you have some certain knowledge about the apps and about Solidity, maybe and the other platforms. But I will explain a little bit uh, from the decentralized systems with, to the the apps, the different platforms and problems in this industry. And later I will give you a, a, a live demo. I, I was prepared to have my laptop here and write code because I expected much more technical people, but it didn't happen. So uh, the decentralized systems where blockchain are examples of this are peer-to-peer -peer networks, which means that uh, several nodes are talking to each other and they are running a decentralized system, which in short means that this is a system which has no owner, has no central point of control, and it operates uh, without an owner, without to be being controlled by anyone. And the nodes talk to each other and uh, exchange information, and they agree about the latest version and the correct version of the information through a consensus protocol or consensus algorithm, like proof of work, proof of stake, and some other. So all nodes hold the same stake. This is the initial idea of Satoshi Nakamoto and the Bitcoin. Later, this uh, evolved into a smart contract driven second um, layer protocols. Uh, but the blockchain is generally a peer to peer network which holds a synchronized chain of blocks. It's called also ledger, decentralized ledger. So we have block, block zero, which is called the genesis block, the birth block of the blockchain, and the other blocks, and they are cryptographically connected to each other. And they hold transactions, and these transactions can hold money transfer or token transfers or something like this. But they can also hold different things like, uh, please execute this function, which changes the, the state. So we can program this blockchain. And the first massively adopted uh, such network was the Ethereum, which uh, provided the opportunity to, to program and to hold a state inside the blockchain and uh, using a kind of programming language to change the state over the time. And this uh, programming language is called Solidity and later some other uh, similar languages evolved for the EVM, Ethereum Virtual Machine. So, what is the application of blockchains? It started from cryptocurrencies. It started from Bitcoin, then Litecoin, and many other coins, 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 tokens, scammers, etc., etc., etc. The idea is very nice. It's about digital money without central bank. And this works, and this is proven to work. But the economical 
uh, side of this is not very good because uh, the, the markets are unstable, uh, a lot of speculations are there, etc. The later and more interesting use case is building decentralized applications and decentralized organizations, which is, uh, provides a way to remove the middlemen in many processes like hotel booking, air ticketing, and many others. It is, uh, provides ability to build platform who are fully software-based organizations. For example, I can uh, make a uh, Uber-like taxi ordering service, which is fully software-based and fully decentralized, which is very, very, very in interesting because this is a kind of unstoppable organization. Digital investments was the reason why crypto is famous because these ICOs, STOs, HTOs, and token economies and uh, promises to build something became very, 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 very um, famous. So, smart contracts. Smart contracts are programmable blockchains. This is something like a code, a program which is deployed and running in the blockchain. Like cloud-based software is something which is running in the Google Cloud or in Amazon Cloud. In the same way, you can run some software in the Ethereum network on the AEOS network. So, there are programming languages like Solidity, like Serpent and many others which uh, target the Ethereum virtual machine or some other execution engine which uh, you can write code and this code can be invoked through a blockchain transaction and this transaction creates some uh, new state in the blockchain and this is persisted forever because the blockchain by design is immutable. So. There are many DApp platforms. DApp means decentralized application, decentralized app, app which lives on the blockchain or in a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer network. The most famous smart contract platform is the Ethereum blockchain. Ethereum was a true revolution in this industry because it was the first massively adoptive programmable blockchain. Uh, currently, there are many other pro players like AOSIEO, uh, which is not fully decentralized, but works very well with good performance. And other players like NEO, the Chinese blockchain, the NEM, which is a very nice platform, Cardano, which is a functional based programming, programmable blockchain, the Hyperledger, which is used mostly for the private networks, etc. Additionally to the smart contract platforms, we have also decentralized storage and decentralized databases. Systems like IPFS, BigchainDB, Buzel, and many others are trying to build what the cloud provides in the centralized ecosystems, but in a decentralized way. For example, you can purchase a storage from Amazon, computational services from Amazon, etc., 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 and backend services. And in the blockchain, you are supposed to one day to have the same things, but decentralized and you will pay uh, with some tokens to the miners who will execute your application. But still we are far from this. For example, nobody has uh, already succeeded to run a, a word, simple WordPress site in the blockchain. Still this is not mm, partially impossible. My wife demo was supposed to be a document registry app. It will not be demo. I transferred this uh, into screenshots, but the idea was just to demonstrate one use case. And this is a notary service, a service where you upload documents uh, through a blockchain wallet, the owner of this service, for example, if I, I run a software university, and when I issue a diploma, I, as an administrator, I can sign a transaction and store the valid diplomas on the blockchain. And I'm, in my demo, I will use the MetaMask, which is a browser-integrated wallet, which uh, just uh, can sign transactions and send them through a, with the private key. So ad admins of the system submit documents, for example, diploma certificates, etc., etc., etc. It can be notary act or something different. Uh, in fact, only hashes are stored on the blockchain because storage is expensive. And any user can check on the blockchain by the document hash whether it's valid or not, whether it's registered in this smart contract or not. And technologies which I used are Ethereum, the Robstem testnet, which is testing network as the Solidity programming language, the MetaMask wallet, which is browser plugin and JavaScript and Web3 API. Uh, it's open source on projects on, on the GitHub. You can browse the so source and run it. And it's also, um, this is the source code of the contract 
contract, and this is the Solidity IDE uh, Integrate Development Environment called Remix. This is what you can use if you have small, simple projects. So the smart contract is very simple. It just says when the contract is deployed, take the owner, the, the sender of the transaction, and he can add uh, new hashes, and they, it stores them in a hash table. And then anyone without uh, permission can uh, verify them, because the Ethereum network is a public blockchain, and anyone can just ask the network, please read this value from the contract. So these are, this is how the transactions in this has, uh, contract looks like. And this is the, the, the app. So owners, when they want to submit a document, for example, I issue a diplomat, I want to submit it, uh, the MetaMask wallet asks me to confirm the transaction. And the owner of the contract should sign with his private key this transaction. And this transaction is sent to the Ethereum network for processing, like it's shown on, on the right. And finally, the document is submitted and it's registered on the blockchain forever. It cannot be deleted later. And when you want to verify, the, this is the transaction confirmation. And when we want to verify a document, you just load the document. It calculates the hash and checks in the smart code contract through a Web3 API call um, on the Ethereum network, whether it's correct or not, or it says correct or not. And that's my talk. Do you have some questions or some discussions? I'll be around. If someone to talk, want to talk with me informally, you are invited to find me. I'll be around for the next maybe 20 minutes. No questions? We have no time, right? Okay, thank you for your attendance and good work.